What's going on YouTube is going to be a long one, so I'm going to be trying to be quite... Uh, it's going to be a long one, so I'm going to try and be quick. Uh, this is Dragon Ball Z, The Fall of Man. It's a half an hour short film made by Black Smoke Films. And apparently this one is like, everyone's saying it's really good. I mean, I've seen a couple of these fan made films. Like the first one that I ever saw was the, the British made one by uh, these guys. I can't remember what their names are now. I can't remember what their names are now. But it, that one was, <laughs> I know mean, a lot of people liked it. I like the effort, they, they put a lot of effort in. I like the effort they put in, but that one was just a bit, you know, a bit cheesy, a bit silly, a bit funny to me. I don't know, I'll go back. I'll go into that at the end of this video anyway. And uh, this, uh, the light, then there was all the Light of Hope one, which had episode, was episodic. I don't, I don't think I even watched all of that. I watched like, the first episode where, like, I think Trunks was this Asian kid. It was about Gohan, uh, you know, the alternate future where everyone dies and there's just Gohan and Trunks. Uh, I never really, that was a bit like, it was meh, it was okay, like, Probably like it was it was better than the English one, the guy the English guys anyway. So anyway, let's just get straight into this one. It's half an hour long. Let's see what the fuss is about. See if this is any good. It's a go. Nice little intro there. Nice little logo thing. The world isn't like it's supposed to be. That's pretty good already. Something happened along the way. That's Trunks. Destiny was changed. Looks like what the live action city would look like. Mankind has fallen. <laughs> That's so, isn't it? We don't know where this great evil came from. From which cell it grew. Annihilated entire nations in just a few days. I'm just going to turn this up a little bit because... Oh my god! Oh and my weak. God. Like sheep among wolves. Men. Women and children. Parents. Oh, just turn up a bit. Eaten alive. With our downfall, Earth is lost. There won't be a soul left to watch the ebbing tides oh or goodness. the trees swaying in the wind. My mother once told me, life is a journey, all been tested along the way. That looks nothing like trunks, but I guess that's, that's not the point. That's not what you can tell already, that's not Courage. the point. They're not trying to look like them, they're just trying to get the Lies, feeling of it. Truth, betrayal. We'll make it a bit, bit darker, quite a lot darker than the actual series, but then the whole Trunk storyline no. has always been darker. But future Trunks' story has always been darker. Part of the plan. But in the end, You'll have what it takes. All of this for the greater good. I mustn't fade her. I will make the difference. Okay, here we go. I remember all those sacrifices they did for me. I remember. Is that true? 
practical effect. Whatever it was, it looked good. But they'll clever the cut away fast from it. They're saving the money shot. So. That is supposed to be Goku up here. We've got to at least make Goku look somewhat like him. Well, I should be fair, I can't even see him that well. Death. The greatest end. I know we all die someday. But not today. Not today. But no, it can't be Goku because... I have to trust that each of my actions has some meaning, somehow. Oh, I heard once that war doesn't ennoble men. It turns them into dogs. Fortunately, I am not. I thought his eyes were going to open and be green then. <laughs> Super Saiyan. I know a place where miracles happen. The last place we saw God alive.
the budget too as well. It's impossible to describe the horror I witnessed. How could I? It grew in me like a disease. My anger now oh, defines me. It fills me, fuels me. The power that I is. could only dream of. I know I can save us all. Flying and landing looks good for once. It doesn't look so silly. It doesn't look like it just appeared there. It looks like he actually landed. Like in all these other things, it always looks really cheesy and fake. Like in some actual big budget films, it looks like that. They got it pretty good here. Decent. Not every flying shot's been great in this, but most of it is pretty much here out of the park.
makes the, it makes the characters look more real, even if they're CGI. CGI, but you don't mind, it just looks right, it just works for some reason. Oh shit, his hands are really real there. I cannot tell if it's CGI. in this one, he doesn't even like, kind of like that. Wow, the bad guy won. <laughs> Was it not over yet? Chunks always fails, doesn't he? In everything. <laughs> When has Trunks ever been successful or something? Like will succeed. Why don't you use a sword, Lerm? <laughs> we'll save time.
madness, the violence, the poison of my soul, until you were born. You made me a father, a better husband, and a better man. Let's cut him off. Is that Vegeta speaking? Family is everything. good pretty damn good so you know this is definitely the best fan made Dragon Ball Z uh, uh, film I've ever seen so far better than those uh, something production guys from England and better than the Light of Hope guys like this was good the fight with Cell my god but ever since I've seen Neo and Agent Smith fight in the air. I knew they could make a Dragon Ball Z film work. The problem is getting the right tone. When do you be serious? When do you be funny? Will it work without looking silly? Well, you know what, like...
wasn't a great thing. There's also a different plan for G. They look very similar though. They're not even brothers according to their last name. Let me just turn this down a bit. Right, so yeah, as I, as I was saying, like, as I was saying, like, I always knew they could make a Dragon Ball Z movie after I saw Agent Smith and Neo fight each other in the Matrix uh, Revolutions. And obviously after seeing Man of Steel, General Zod and uh, Superman just, just decimating um, Manhattan, or not, not Manhattan, uh, Metropolis. <laughs> Just decimating it like crazy, like, like Dragon Ball Z. Where are you? See, the problem is, yeah. Holy, people think this can't be done. It can be done. I'm sure it can be done. These guys have got pretty close with probably some tiny ass budget. Do you know what I mean? I mean, obviously the actors don't look great. I ain't gonna lie. I'm not gonna sugarcoat it and just say, oh, this is amazing. But the actors uh, don't look great. That doesn't matter though, this is just a fan made thing, just to show what they can do with the property. Um, uh, the, the acting and the narrating was like, like the accents was a bit weird, it wasn't really, you didn't, it didn't, the guy didn't make you, make him very, it wasn't, it didn't make the character very likeable, you know? So I didn't really like the narrating and all that. So, um, wait, hold on. Oh shit. Oh, they didn't do a Marvel. I didn't do a Marvel. Oh well. I was completely wrong. Okay. But anyway, as I was saying, yeah, I didn't like the narrating. It just didn't make it very likable, make the guy very likable. It just seems like, oh, and I was doing this, and this, and that, and this, and I'm trying to make you feel sorry for me. Oh, I'm trying to make this seem really dark and epic. But no, it's just like, that's all that it was. It's just like, if you're going to do that, make sure he's saying some really interesting stuff. Because I know you guys are probably saying, you didn't, you were busy talking, you weren't listening to what it's saying. I heard what he was saying. It wasn't anything that was spectacular. So if you're not going to, so if that's not going to be good, then have some good dialogue, have some characters interacting with each other. And obviously you need good actors for that, so I guess maybe this guy didn't have great actors, so maybe he was forced to do like a narrating thing where no one speaks, because no one barely spoke in this. But that didn't matter, the, the meat of this was the fight with Cell. Cell looked great, you know, he's all CGI, but then sometimes he's real, and you can't even tell, like, something, like especially because Cell's not human. Like, the rule of CGI is when it's not human, it's easy to manipulate. But when they're human, that's when you can tell. Like when you could tell when Trunks was CGI, but it didn't really matter. It looked pretty good anyway. Like they did it in a dark environment, and the city just looked so crisp, so real. The city looked really real. So I don't know who made that city for them, where they got it from, but it was like props to the animator who ever made that city, man. It looked so good. But yeah, they could they could make a Dragon Ball Z film, man. Look at Marvel. Look what they've done with Guardians of the Galaxy, the whole MCU. It's just that everyone's scared to tread new ground, man. If it hasn't been done before, it's impossible. Like, I bet when Marvel were trying to make a cinematic universe back in 2008, like, it hadn't been done before, and everyone probably thought it would be silly, impossible, like, it's too much, no one will stick to it, it's never been done before, so it can't work. No, that's stupid. Marvel are innovators, that's what I love about them. And there's not many innovators in Hollywood, man. That's why everyone's scared to do Dragon Ball Z. They, they tried to do it and they just failed because they tried to make Dragon Ball Z into, like, Revo I'm talking about Dragon Ball Revolution. Is it Revolution? I can't remember what it's called. Anyway, Retribution. Dragon Ball Revo um I don't even care what it's called anymore. It's so shit, that film. You know, the one with Justin Chatwin in it. I can't remember his name. But yeah, that film, like, they tried to make that film uh, they used formulas from other films to make that rather than using the actual source material itself. That's where the problem came from. They thought, this is Dragon Ball, the name will sell itself, but how do we make people stay? Oh, I know, let's copy other films and put it into this and we can get two, hit, two birds with one hit two birds with one stone. No, it doesn't work like that, my friend. The way to do it is to stick with the source material. That's what Mar Marvel does and only change things that, are, that just won't work on screen. That you can use, and if you think just don't, if it looks like it won't work on screen, doesn't mean you shouldn't try it. Try it, 
And if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. Never say never, like, it's crazy. Like, the reason why superhero films work, in my opinion, is because uh, superhero films are, they're, um, they're, hol they're Western, they're from Western comics, they're, West they're Westernized. Like, it's, it seems America can make their own things look good, but when they try and take something from abroad, they always make it look shit for some reason. I don't know, because they don't care about it as much, or what, I don't know why, they don't put enough effort in. But I think with the right creation, with the right creative team, you can make a sick Dragon Ball Z movie. I know you could. I just know it. They could if they wanted to. Like, if, look, they've got a flipping a talking raccoon and a flipping giant humanoid tree, you know? In the uh, Guardians of the Galaxy. In the same universe as flipping Daredevil and Jessica Jones, do you know what I mean? So I'm pretty sure by now you can make a good anime movie at least. Like Dragon Ball Z, Naruto. Uh, I've always wanted to direct a Naruto movie. <laughs> Hit me up, Hollywood. I'll direct the sickest Naruto movie, I swear to God. An Attack on Titan right there. I want to see that. Like, there's a live action I don't know, but it's shit. I don't like the Japanese. Like, it just sucks, man. That Attack on like, live action Attack on Titan. I don't know. It's like they just don't want to do it properly. They, they so I've got so many ideas bouncing in my head how they could do a live action. But yeah, there's a good effort from these guys. Black Smoke, Black Smoke Films. You get the. Uh, 0088 thumb of approval and keep going keep making these man they're awesome get some better actors though because people that kind of looked a little bit more like you know the the anime version but anyway that's my reaction to dragon ball z the fall of men i hope you guys liked it if you did give me a like give me a thumbs up and uh Leave what your thoughts in the comments below. Let me know what you guys think of this. This is probably interesting. We'll have a little bit of debate down there if anyone wants to comment on it. And I'll see you guys again. Peace.